Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Pirate Podcast. Today, I'm here with Maddie and Corbin to talk about wrestling. But first, how are you guys? Good. Good. Tired, but... Yeah, it's so cold outside. Very. Like, negative temperatures. I'm still freezing. Um, okay, well, how are both teams doing this year? Um, girls are doing really well. We Like, for all the... Hold on. We've gone to, like, five, six tournaments, and we've taken, like second in oh awesome so yeah that's awesome bringing home hardware the boys are doing decent i mean we're definitely progressing throughout the weeks and learning from <laughs> what we've done i mean we're we're getting better the boys are getting better but. okay um how many are on each team oh my gosh i don't <laughs> it feels like there's a lot of wrestlers it's this year grown so much in the past three years um but Hold on, I think with girls we have like 16 or 17, maybe more than that. Oh, wow. But competing, I think we have 16, and then we have like more that are hurt and out for a little bit, but we have a lot. a lot. (laughs) We have a lot of girls. (laughs) I think it's about the same. I think we have a little less boys and girls. Yeah, we've had a few. Well, Mm -hmm. we've had injuries happen, so it's like people are out for that, and then I think Mm -hmm. there's like... Maybe maybe a little more boys. There might be like 18 or 19 boys right now. Okay. Um, what is the team's like weight class range? Like what does the weight vary between? Uh, for boys, it's 103 and I think it's... It goes up to 285. 285 plus, I think, or something like that. Yeah. And then girls, it starts at 100 and then it goes up to like 230. 35, I think, is the highest weight class that it goes. Okay. Um, it changes every year, so it's hard to keep track. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. So how do matches work between scoring and pins and, like, time? Um, so pretty much there's three two-minute periods, so it's six minutes altogether, but mm-hmm. it stops every two minutes. And so pretty much in the first period, you start neutral, so both people are standing up, mm-hmm. and then... At the end of that first period, if you're still going at it, you're pretty much flip a coin and whoever's green or red, like it's on the coin. So mm-hmm. whatever's up, it's their choice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you can either go standing or standing, top, top bottom, bottom, or defer. Okay. And so if you're on top, that's pretty much it's my favorite because it's easier. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Depends on what your coach says. Yeah. Okay, so then one person wears the green band on someone with the red mm-hmm. on your ankle? It depends on where the table puts you at. Okay, and then you earn points by, like, throwdowns or something? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Takedowns are two. Takedowns. And reversals are one. Um, so it's, like, when the person is in control and uh-huh. then you, like, pretty much get on top of them instead. And then, okay. Wrong. So that's two for takedowns, one for reversal. And then there's these things called near falls. So pretty much like you're on your side. And mm-hmm. then when you're over 90 degrees closer to your back, the ref will start counting. And so oh, if he okay. counts to three, that's two points. And if he counts to five, it's three points. Mm-hmm. And so that's pretty much where a lot of people rack up a bunch of points is by near falling, almost mm-hmm. having them pinned and then not. And then the way... Like, the easiest way to win is by pinning. So that's mm-hmm. when both shoulder blades are on the mat. Mm-hmm. So that's pretty much how okay. it works. And then how do most tournaments work? Do you start with the lightweight and then move up and then go back down by wins? Um, like, elimination It kind of depends on the tournament because sometimes, and it depends on how many mats they have out because if they usually have, like, one or two, um, like they did up in Eureka, they started smaller weight classes. Mm-hmm. wrestled a couple from that weight class and then moved up mm-hmm. um so then they went from like 103 to 113 then 120 um 132 um and then bigger ones it kind of depends um what mat you're on they'll kind of call it out um which mm-hmm. weight classes are going but a lot of times so what happens they like draw random weight classes so they'll just pick mm-hmm. a 120s going first and then sometimes it's 135 just because they don't want multiple matches going on with the same weight mm-hmm. going on in the same mat. But okay. Because, yeah, um, like if you have to 
wrestle this one match and then another match is going the, um, the same weight and then you have to go wrestle that person mm -hmm. then it's back to back matches and then yeah. it gets tired and you have to wrestle somebody your own weight mm -hmm. and then if you don't match that certain weight because weights go like by certain there's like it doesn't go up by one pound obviously no. it's like there's a big separation there's and if a, you don't hit a, that weight then you can't wrestle right it ranges from like three pounds to like 10 or 12 pound weight mm -hmm. differences That's depending crazy. on what weight class you're yeah. in and what they jump. So how hard is it to keep that weight and like gain it or lose? Like how, how do you do that? It really depends on who you are. So you get certified at the beginning of the season. Mm -hmm. So a doctor comes in, they take your height, your bone mass. Um, and so you have to have a certain percentage of body fat. And so he calculates it and then he says, oh, you can't drop below this weight. So mm -hmm. I wrestle 120 because that's the lowest I can drop to. Mm -hmm. I can't go any weight lower than that. And then I can't wrestle more than two weight classes above me. Okay. So pretty much if you're smart about it, like you just wrestle the weight that you're comfortable at and that you're pretty mm -hmm. consistent in. But mm -hmm. there's some people that try to drop crazy amounts and that our yeah. coaches get mad at us for it. Yeah, it doesn't seem healthy, that healthy. I, yeah. was, I was 116 at the beginning of the season. And I've just been trying to maintain 113. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. So are there times when you just can't eat or you have to like run or do something to maintain it? If you're being stupid, yeah. <laughs> but most of the time it's not too bad. Okay. I ate a bunch over the weekend and so I had to stick my hoodie on at practice yeah. last night and lose a couple pounds. <laughs> Seems like it'd be pretty hard. It's a lot of work. Um, so what is your next duel or tournament? Um, tonight Today. in Ronan. Mm -hmm. Nice. How is Ronan doing this year? <laughs> they are <laughs> dominating. Yeah. Um, the girls, Wholesome girls have actually come super close to beating um, Renan girls mm -hmm. um, several times, but the boys are just absolutely dominating. Yeah. Seems like they've got a lot of seniors on their team to like, oh, yeah. that just, they travel all the time. Like, that's all they do is just travel they and have, wrestle all year round. So, yeah, they have big AAU teams that they do mm -hmm. um, off season and whatnot. Yeah. I know. Putting it in between the basketball games is gonna be wild, oh, yeah. but I mean, it's it'll get people to watch. Is I don't the know thing. how well it's gonna go. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be long. It's gonna be, a long no, it's gonna night. be long. A long night. I know. I mean, wrestling the basketball takes game, forever. It's not gonna be too long, but then the way wrestling match matches go, uh huh, with both boys and girls in between, yeah. it's gonna be a it's long, long night. Mm -hmm. What is it like having your dad as the coach? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's good. We just. I don't know. He knows that I hold myself to a certain standard. So mm -hmm. he imagines it, like what I'm trying to hold myself to. And then he like goes higher than mm -hmm. what I think I'm trying to push myself to. But yeah. it, it works. <laughs> but then my sophomore year, he came up to me and he said, Madeline, I love you, but I'm not going to be in your corner coaching you. And it's because <laughs> I know it's one of those things where I'm just like, I fight it. So I'll look at him and I'll kind of just glare at him and there's a picture going <laughs> from last year or something and I am glaring at him so hard. That's funny. <laughs> but yeah, it works out fairly well, especially since I'm older mm -hmm. and understand kind of what he's trying to teach yeah. me and everything. But mm -hmm. definitely sure. when I was younger, it was a lot harder. Yeah, I can imagine. How many coaches are on the team this year? Oh my gosh. There's Nine? Yeah. <laughs> Seems Nine like there's a lot. There's quite a few. And is that just because they need you have to have a coach on each mat for it? Every mm -hmm. that and then they need some to go to girls tournaments mm -hmm. and some to go to boys tournaments. Okay. So it's kind of like you need to share, divide equally. Yeah. Overall it's not that many coaches compared to like both teams. Both teams mm -hmm. have like four yeah. on each side and then it's just combined. There's mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah. What's the worst injury you've gotten while wrestling? Um, I broke my collarbone my sophomore year. And I was really stubborn, so I had gotten to be friends with this girl from Browning. Her name was Jocelyn, and she was the nicest person ever. But her mm -hmm. and I, like, every week we'd go and wrestle each other. So her and I were tied with how many times, like, we'd won and lost. So I'd won two, she'd won two. So this was, like, this is what broke the streak. And Aww. so I was wrestling her, and I fell. So I, like, was trying to roll out of it and landed uh -huh. on my shoulder, and then yeah. my body weight, like, crushed it. 
And then I Yikes. told her, I'm like, so something popped. She's like, okay, <laughs> do you need me to get off? I said, no, I'm not losing by injury default. I'm going to lose. You're pinning me. So uh-huh. we went through it. I just rolled over. I let her pin me and then got up. I didn't even tell her I was hurt. I like went up, went to the hospital. She texted me, Maddie, you okay? And I'm like, Aww. yeah, it's okay. I'm good. That's and then sad. two weeks later, she broke hers. So. That's crazy. That's yeah. actually really funny. But I mean, not funny that you broke it, but it happens. <laughs> it's funny how that works. Yeah. What about you? I've ooh, a couple years ago, I had a concussion from skiing during my wrestling season. I don't know if that counts. That's well, that wasn't from wrestling, yeah. though. I mean, I mean, just a lot of bloody nothing, noses. I've had a lot, so many bloody noses. A lot of bloody noses. <laughs> I'm a bleeder when I wrestle. Um, bloody noses. I bruised my uh, chin bone a couple weeks ago. And it's still pretty hurts on uh, pressure. So that's nothing serious. <laughs> and when you bleed, do you have to wipe up the blood? Otherwise, yeah. it like doesn't count or something. So you get called for blood time. So mm-hmm. it's like injury time, blood time. So like the ref will see blood, so he'll call it, blow his whistle, and then they have four minutes. To get the bleeding to stop and get it all mm-hmm. cleaned up, and then they'll just go again. Yeah. yeah. Okay. They have these uh, um, they have these little nose plugs, little like cylinder thingies. Mm-hmm. You fold them up and but uh, they, they work pretty well. <laughs> all right. What's your favorite move? Mm, I don't know. I like swing singles just because I'm tall and lazy, <laughs> so I can just swing around people. Uh-huh. I don't like doing like moves where I have to get tied up yeah. in with somebody because it just gets messy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but that are fireman's carries, I think. Nice. What about you? For me, I'm trying to get... Right now, my favorite move is probably a power double. I'm trying to get better at that because it's pretty effective. What is that? Um, you just take out both of their legs at the same time and drop oh. through. <laughs> just, okay. Yeah. Nice. What do you guys think about girls wrestling now? It's grown so much in the Mm -hmm. past three years. We went from having two girls on a team to having almost 20, Mm -hmm. I think. And that's across the nation. It's just Mm -hmm. erupting. Yeah, from what tournaments I've been to, it seems like there's like almost more girls than guys, which Mm -hmm. is crazy. Mm -hmm. Never would have thought of wrestling as a girl sport, but. When I was younger, there was one, two girls on my team. And now there's more girls than guys which yeah. is just absolutely crazy mm-hmm. it's wild well it seems like you guys are liking it mm-hmm. yeah. hope you have a good rest of your year I am on it <laughs> <laughs> yep well that's all I have for today but thank you guys of course and we'll see you next time <laughs>